you are suing now to hold an in-person convention. And I guess the question is, is that a good idea as we see the number of cases rise? Well, the point has to be that we cannot give up all of our important rights and responsibilities permanently and forever. I mean, people who talk about, well, we'll just stay locked down until there is a cure, or until there is a vaccine. We have viruses for which we've never had a vaccine and we're not going to. We, and the, we've already heard it is mutating. This has got to be about responsible people being careful and showing that we can move forward safely. And the mayor's own attorneys in the lawsuit, in the hearing we had in and district court in Houston yesterday made it very clear this was not about safety. This was about Democrats shutting down Republican free speech. They literally suggested that the same convention that they say is not safe to have when we can space out at one third the capacity of the hall would be just fine if we moved it 40 miles up the road and had it in a hall that was <laughs> one fourth the size. So it, for them, <laughs> It was never about safety. It was about disrupting and disenfranchising voters. And that's the other thing. This is not some association of folks who want to get together to talk about new business practices, even though that is essential activity as well. This is critical election activity. We are literally at our convention electing the presidential electors for the state of Texas for January's presidential vote by the Electoral College. This could not be more serious, could not be more protected, and the mayor is way out of line.